When we're treating a wound, the idea is to cultivate as best you can an environment in the wound to promote tissue regrowth. And very often it's hard to get nutrients and oxygen to the wound, and therefore it can't heal. And one way is we can get around the oxygen deficit that can occur locally in a wound is through hyperbaric oxygen therapy. We create an environment in these chambers where we flood them with pure oxygen under high pressure, and the idea is that drives oxygen into the wound, into the tissue that would otherwise not be able to get it. For hyperbarics, it is a daily treatment Monday through Friday. It takes about two hours at a time. When the patients come in, we'll help them get dressed out and get into a hospital gown. We take their vitals and then prepare them for treatment. Every indication every patient is different, but as a general rule of thumb, they typically start out with somewhere between 20 and 30 treatments and can go upwards of 50 or 60 treatments. While they're in the chamber, we can hear and see everything that goes on. If they need our attention, all they have to do is just simply say, hey Daniel, there's a microphone in the, in the chamber. And there are definitely safety protocols in place that make sure that one of us are very near the chamber at all times. Diabetic foot ulcers have a very high rate of amputation, and they can be very difficult to heal. So adding hyperbaric oxygen therapy as an adjunctive treatment participates significantly in, in limb salvage. Chronic refractory osteomyelitis is a long-term bone infection that has been resistant to other treatments. The bone in particular is, even in normal conditions, is difficult to drive oxygen into. I mean, it's basically a rock. So getting oxygen to an area that is infected is even that much harder. It's particularly helpful in that condition because it's the thing that drives oxygen through those barriers to get it to where the bacteria are so that you can wipe them out. As a clinician watching a patient who has tried all other avenues of recourse come here and us be able to make a difference and possibly even save a limb, it's why most of us come to work every day. People with long-term wounds that really you've done everything else that you could and it's enough to turn a wound around. I mean, certainly a life-changing event for these people. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is not a common finding in a lot of towns, so it takes a larger center to, to have it. And we have it right here. We have it in town and in our wound center. It gives us a lot of capability.